Hi, David Harper of Bionic Turtle with a brief illustration of the role return in futures contracts. This is important because it impacts several commodity-based ETFs lately in a bad way. So to illustrate the impact of the role return on your futures contract, I've plotted an actual crude oil futures curve. That's as of today, about mid-June 2010. And so the spot price, let's round off, is about $76. And then what we have is a plot of futures prices on crude oil, one month, two month, three month. These contracts gout over time give us the a futures curve. We could also call it a forward curve. And it's upward sloping to reflect a positive cost of carry. So technically we say the crude oil futures curve is in contango. And what that means is we are going to exhibit, we are going to experience losses on the roll return. So the, to show how that works, let's say here we are at mid June and we enter into a long December contract. The December futures price is $81 as of today. So if we enter into a long December contract in June, we are promising to purchase one contract, a thousand barrels, and we're going to pay $81 for it. So now I'm going to simulate going forward in time, three months, I'm going to make an important and unrealistic assumption, and that is that this curve is not going to change. It's not going to twist or become steeper or shallower. It's just going to remain a static crude oil futures contract. What's going to, what happens is that's going to work against us on the roll return. So if I go down here and here, I've plotted, I've simulated here going to September. And now, whereas we had entered into it, we entered originally into a contract at a six month maturity, we're now three months forward in time. So we still have a promise to purchase in December at $81, but new futures contracts only have three month maturity from September to December. So here we are in September. And now if that crude oil futures curve does not change at all, so it was in contango in June and three months forward in September, it remains in contango. So I duplicated the shape exactly. Here we are in September. Notice that the new December futures price must necessarily be lower. So if I look at a transaction in June, I enter into a long December contract. That's a promise to buy at $81. I get to September here. And let's say I close that out or offset that position. After all, most of these commodity contracts are not held to maturity. Then what I effectively have to do is sell the same December contract. But now, three months forward, if this, con if this curve didn't change at all, it's going to be $79.11. In fact, it's going to be the price that the three-month contract would have been back in June. So I have to sell or offset at $79.11 to close out, and I have lost. Here is my loss on the roll return, and it's graphically illustrated right here. I originally entered long here, and then I've got to sell here at the lower price. And you can see that really over time, this forward price is chasing toward or converging toward the spot price. One of our underlying assumptions there is that the forward price must converge to the zone of convergence to the spot price as the contract tends toward maturity. And if we are in contango here, that's necessarily going to imply a loss on the roll return. And so that's the contango. Now, oftentimes, historically, the crude oil futures curve has been, for various reasons, in backwardation, mostly due to the expectation that long-term supply and demand will meet. Now, notice here, if I go back to June, entered into that long position, under a backwardation, then if I go three months forward, then my I would be offsetting here at this higher price. So under backwardation, the futures price must be increasing to converge to the spot price. So we if the curve is in if the futures curve is in backwardation, we profit on the roll return. This is David Harper the Bonnock Turtle. Thanks for your time.